What is up guys, Sean here, and today let's talk about how I create thumbnails. Now this is gonna be a tutorial for beginners. Let's go. You must find them for me and destroy them. All right guys, as always, all the gear that I use will be available in the links below. And if you choose to purchase from those links, it will help support this YouTube channel. And if you haven't yet, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you get more videos just like this one. All right, with that out the way, let's dive into it. So I only have one word for you, clickbait. Wait, is that even, is that one word? Hey Google, is clickbait one word? You are stupid. Moving on. So when you're creating a thumbnail, I think it's important for you to think about the videos that you click on and what those thumbnails look like. And in some cases, those thumbnails don't really have anything to do with the video themselves, or you won't even find that video useful. So step number one is to think about a thumbnail that you would click on. And step number two is the actual setup. So when I'm setting up a thumbnail, I like to do weird faces or doing something that might relate to the video. For an example, something like this or this, or maybe even something like this. What I like to do to create these is I start rolling on my camera and get one take of me just doing random things and pausing. Once I wrap up that take, it's time to put that footage on your computer, and this is where obviously the thumbnail comes together. You're gonna need some form of a photo editing program, my weapon of choice, Photoshop. Keep in mind, you can create a thumbnail in pretty much any photo editing program, including things like Canva. So once I put the footage on my computer, the first thing I do is open up that video file. I go to the frame that I want, and I do a screen grab. To do a screen grab on a Windows computer, you press the window button, shift and S together, and then you'll select the area that you want to screen grab. And if you're on a Mac, you would press shift command four, and again, you would just move your cursor across the screen and select the uh, area that you want to screen grab. Now, once you do that, it is saved onto your clipboard. It's time to open up your photo editing program. I'm gonna open up Photoshop. Now, once Photoshop launches, you're gonna to wanna to click Create New. And you're gonna to wanna to set this project up so that it's 1920 by 1080 with a resolution of 100. And once you're done with that, you're gonna press Control V or Command V to paste the screen grab that you got earlier. From there, simply drag your image to where you think it fits best in your frame and press Enter. And now you wanna add some text, so press T on your keyboard and click anywhere that you want the text to be. Now, here's the thing. I personally wouldn't cover the entire image with text but I would use a font that can definitely be read on any device. Once you're done typing that up, now it's time to be a little creative. I have a few images already saved on my computer that I wanna to add to this image, so I'm just gonna click them one by one and drag them into my Photoshop file. And in case you're having a problem with the layers, those are located to the right in Photoshop. Adjust those accordingly. Lastly, you can create a border on your image. To do this, tap M on your keyboard and then click and drag to the corners of your image. Press Control Shift I to invert the selection and then go to Edit, Fill, Content, White. And well, my friends, that is it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, be sure to leave a comment below to let me know. Or if you know somebody who may find this tutorial helpful, share it with them. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.